you have you know, this one insect laying its eggs into another insect, controlling its behavior, and then devouring it from the inside out and emerging through its head capsule. I mean, that's inherently a, a horror story that makes you happy not to be an insect. Just right here on any of these branches, you can pick up and find stuff. In this branch, we have a gall wasp, and from my perspective, that's the host in this system. But this gall wasp does something really interesting to the branch, which is it induces the formation of what's called a crypt. And in that crypt, the gall wasp will undergo its development, and when it's ready to leave as an adult and go off in search of mates, it makes a hole and it leaves the crypt through that hole. But there's a parasitoid in this system that finds the gall wasps and lays their eggs in the crypt with the gall wasp. And then the parasitoid manipulates the gall wasp into making an emergence hole, but it's a smaller hole than usual, and the gall wasp gets stuck at the emergence point, and then the parasitoid eats the inside of the gall wasp, and when it's ready to emerge as an adult, it eats its way out of the body of the gall wasp and emerges through its head. So we found this phenomenon, maybe, in the new oak species here on campus, right? This was my first experience being involved with research. I wouldn't normally look at a bridge twice and think, oh, I need to look at that again. But I feel like after being involved with this, it's something where I kind of appreciate more that there's so much going on on a smaller scale in nature that you really have to pay a lot of attention to be able to notice it and appreciate that. Personally, I'm the most excited about the fact that we found hypermanipulation. So I study parasites that manipulate something about their host. And in this case, we have a gall wasp, which is a parasite of trees and is manipulating the tree into forming a crypt for it. So that's one layer of manipulation. And then when it's infected by a parasitoid, the gall wasp excavates an emergence hole and plugs it with its head. And if you just put a tiny little piece of bark over the hole plugged with the head of the host, then the parasitoid is three times less likely to be able to get out. So they're more likely to die in the crypt. So we have this example of manipulation where the parasitoid is making the host essentially make an escape hole for it because it can't do it on its own or it's much less able to do it on its own and needs the help of the host. So you have two layers of manipulation there and that I think is really cool.